Hey guys, Dean Statman here, brand editor of Men's Health, and we are here in Brooklyn, New York City at Little Chuck Apothecary with this guy, Dave Asprey, founder of Bulletproof, and all around just interesting dude. Thanks. Dave, thanks for coming through. Uh, my pleasure. So, Bulletproof Coffee by now, it's been around for a while, you were founded in 2009. The wellness industry was nothing then compared with what it is yeah. now. For people who maybe aren't familiar with Bulletproof, how did it come about? What is the origin story and, and why is it so popular? I, I used to weigh 300 pounds. I, I was obese for most of my life. I had arthritis in my knees since I was 14 and very successful in Silicon Valley. I made $6 million when I was 26. I lost it when I was 28. And <laughs> oops. And it just <laughs> huge amounts of stress uh, and obesity. But I got brain fog and, and I just got really desperate to turn my brain back on. So after doctors really didn't help, I started gathering my own data and I started spending a lot of money on hacking myself and literally getting control of my own biology. Part of that was I decided to learn meditation from the master. So I went to Tibet and I'm at a very remote part of Tibet at 18,000 feet elevation. You're supposed to feel like you're dying when you do high altitude mountaineering stuff like that <laughs> because you are, it's hypoxia and it was 10 degrees below zero. And I stumbled into this mud hut and this little Tibetan lady like half as tall as me gives me yak butter tea, which is a mix of, well, yak, <laughs> yak butter, and green tea, and a little bit of salt. Sounds like something that would make you yak. It, pretty much, and, and believe it or not, the wealthy Tibetans have a blender to make it. Everyone else has these like old-fashioned butter churns. I'm like, I'm cold, I'll drink it. And within five minutes, like, something just happened. Like, I feel different. And it was so striking that when I came back to the US, I started taking all this anti-aging research work that I'd done, uh, and just all this, this biohacking as it was emerging, and I started testing different things. And soon I came up with the, the formula, after soon being like about a thousand iterations, where it's a special kind of coconut oil extract related to MCT oil, but much stronger, called brain octane oil, blended with grass-fed butter and a kind of coffee beans that are free of neurotoxins that form during coffee fermentation. So we have lab-tested coffee that's ultra clean, and you make the coffee, you blend it with the butter and the brain octane, and you miraculously stop caring about food. No cravings, no thoughts about food. Someone can set like cupcakes in front of you and instead of doing that little loop, oh, I'm a good person, I'm not gonna eat it, like, I don't care. And you just go about your day. So for me, as a formerly obese person, it was liberating. And I've now had hundreds of thousands of people use Bulletproof Coffee. There's countless, tens of thousands of testimonials of people effortlessly losing weight, stopping cravings the first day. And I do this every morning, I have for, for 10 years. Wow, so we actually recently interviewed Tim Ferriss and when he listed his top three supplements, he said anything with MCT inside it. What, what is so great about MCT that's medium, medium chain triglycerides? Well, MCT is a, a broad category of fats. About maybe 60% of coconut oil is MCTs, but most of what's in MCT oil doesn't raise these ketones, which are the fat burning molecules that turn off inflammation and give you more energy in your brain specifically. So some MCTs give you disaster pants, we call it. Uh, this is a big problem in the early days. You don't want that. No, it, it, it's, it's very rough on the gut. But when you use uh, brain octane, which is one of the four kinds of MCT, you don't get that problem. You get a lot more ketones per calorie consumed. It, so since you, know, you, you have clean pants and a better working brain, that's what I use. And what's special about it is just that it takes four days of fasting like they do in Tibet in order to get ketones naturally. And this is what Atkins dieters, the high fat, low carb people are going for to, to lose weight. But you don't need that many ketones in order to get the cognitive benefits that come from this. So the brain octane the subset of MCT is what raises ketones the most. So it's like you fasted for four days, but it only took you a half hour after you drank your bulletproof coffee. Wow, so if, if viewers find an MCT brand that also has an underwear business, then that's <laughs> probably a sign to stay away. <laughs> That would be a legitimate, like, like, like processed food and pharmaceutical industry kind yep. of interaction. I, I like that. <laughs> so, um, you know, we mentioned uh, Tim Ferriss, and you, you guys are mm -hmm. both big names in the life hacking space. But you specifically have carved out your, your own little niche, biohacking. Yeah. What, what is biohacking? So, so biohacking is an idea that I came up with after I wrote my first book. It was actually about fertility. It turns out our bodies do not listen to what we want very well at all. They listen to the environment around us on a day-by-day -day basis. So if you want to have control of your biology, like I did, my brain wasn't working and I was fat all the time. I was in, my joints hurt. I was had muscle pain, injuries all the time. Saying, I want to do this. I want to fix this. It doesn't matter. My body only listens to the inputs from the world around me. So you change the inputs. So it's the art and science of changing the environment around you and inside of you so that you have full control of your own biology. 
So you might be a biohacker who like wants to get swole. You're like, I just want to look lean and ripped. Someone else is like, I want to live like me to 180 plus. That's my, my, my actual goal. <laughs> and uh, and I, I, I want to look a certain way. I want to feel a certain way. Your, your Netflix queue must be <laughs> it's pretty stacked. Big. Yeah. <laughs> And so I, I also read that you, you hack your employees, which for a second seemed very blood diamond to me. But then you start thinking about what that actually means. What, how do you hack your employees? I'm guessing we're not talking about their email accounts. Not usually. My background, though, I am a computer hacker. That's how I came about all of this oh. uh, in Silicon Valley. I'm, I'm the first guy to sell anything over the internet. And my last job before I, I left the tech world was I was uh, a senior executive at one of the computer security companies. So no, I don't hack their email, but I could. And <laughs> what, I, uh, what I do with hacking the employees is, first, all of my employees get a very generous, more than $100 a month to spend on Bulletproof products. So all of them are on Bulletproof coffee every day. Now, they like that because they look better, they have more energy, but in terms of productivity, I have a more productive team. And here's a crazy thing. When you, you're not hangry and hypoglybitchy, you're actually nicer to your coworkers. You get a more scientific term. But yeah. Everybody wins, right? But more importantly than that, I opened a neuroscience facility called 40 Years of Zen in, uh, in Seattle, which has a, a dedicated team of neuroscientists who do cognitive upgrades on healthy people. Like, like this is something that's changed my life. It, it's like doing a whole lifetime of meditation. I've, I've spent right now three months of my life with the electrodes glued to my head, knowing what's going on inside my brain. I'm not going to put my employees through that, although my senior leadership team, about actually almost 20 employees have done the full five-day program. But we have a clinical grade neurofeedback system uh, that is at our office. So employees who work at headquarters can actually plug in and do an hour of very specific customized training to make their brain work better. And this is a permanent upgrade. They will take it with them for the rest of their life. It changes how they treat their coworkers, but also their spouse, their family, their friends, our partners, our customers. And literally, driving self-awareness makes all of us nicer people. Like, we are wired to be kind when we can just get out of our own way. So if I can help them biologically, which is the Bulletproof Diet book, Headstrong, my new book, about getting the cells working so you have more energy to be nice. And then the software programming layers, that's all neurofeedback and heart rate variability, and we train them to do that as well. Wow. Now, right before this, you were telling me that in your home, you have a half a million dollar biohacking lab. Yeah. What is in that magical place? Well, in support of my, I'm gonna to live to 180, and because I am a human guinea pig, I've got a cryotherapy chamber with liquid nitrogen. So it takes three minutes. You stand in air that's 270 degrees below zero, burns a lot of calories, and triggers rapid healing. It makes your, your skin more youthful. And then, on top of that, I've got another machine that lets you do, in about 21 minutes, the equivalent of roughly two and a half hours of aggressive cardio. And in order to do that, we have um, ice, ice water that's pumped into compression bands. So it raises lactic acid in the muscles very dramatically to the point that your body thinks you did a huge workout to get that much lactic acid. But it's a hack. I'm just changing the signal of the body. So it's like, I guess I should heal like I just did two and a half hours of cardio. But really, because I'm sitting on a chilled ice pad the whole time, I'm taking all that oxygenated blood and keeping it in my brain and my organs and just basically getting an upgrade. And people get higher human growth hormone, higher testosterone in about 10 sessions of that. So if I'm going to do cardio, I don't have two and a half hours to do cardio. I'm busy. I have kids. <laughs> so I'm going to do 20 minutes of that. That's called a Vasper. I've got a flotation tank. Uh, I've got the full neurofeedback system from 40 years of Zen, uh, infrared sauna. I've got another machine that instead of lifting weights, which I pretty much don't do unless I'm on the road, uh, I fight against a computer-driven winch. It will always win, but it's the fight that triggers about three times more muscle growth than you can normally get. Because when you're fighting gravity, your defense systems for your joints kick in. When you're fighting in a, a force that is not accelerating like gravity, you can actually put more muscle into it at the end of the exercise. So most of the muscle mass I have now comes from that kind of an exercise once a week, not every day. So is that almost like isometric training? You're, you're not actually repping out, you're, you're holding a muscle contraction? It's isometrics against a moving force. Okay. And the trick is that gravity, as soon as you wobble a bar a little bit, it, it becomes really heavy because it accelerates at this force of gravity. Since there's no acceleration in the system, all of the body's fear of getting injured goes away. So no one's ever been injured, but you can load the muscle in a way that's, it's absurd. Well, <laughs> you have, Apparently, raise your own IQ by 20 points. Uh, obviously, we researched this, and it turns out it is very possible to raise your own <laughs> IQ. How did you do it, that? Well, the, the very first thing, that, and this is proven in studies, you have to believe it's possible to raise your IQ to raise your IQ. And if you tell people that can't be done, they will not raise their IQ. So there are lots of ways to do it. 
And it's hard to say by 20 points at any one time. There's really only five good types of IQ tests. You want to use your IQ? Take the same test twice. <laughs> the second time you, you take it, your, your score will be higher. So your IQ varies by about five points on a daily basis based on what you drank the night before, what you ate, how well you slept, uh, time of the month even, the weather outside, all of these variables. But you're not going to feel that difference. The amount of toxins you eat can have a huge impact. Uh, your blood sugar levels can have an impact. Mm -hmm. But what I did was two big things. And one of them is the 40 years of Zen neurofeedback training. There are about five studies that show that certain forms of neurofeedback training are clinically shown to increase intelligence. And I did my before and afters on that with, with substantial results. The other one is called dual end back training. And there's free software all over the internet that can do this. And the, the dual end back training is so annoying that I've traveled the world and taught hedge fund managers how to do this and none of them will do it because you feel like the world's biggest failure. But for 20 days, you play the most frustrating game you've ever played and you feel like a loser the whole time. And if you have enough willpower to get past that, after about 17 days, you actually lay down new neurons that increase your working memory. And when you can do that, uh, I got uh, 12 IQ points out of just that. And it's, in fact, it's very common for people to see 10 IQ points in less than a month. You just have to have the willpower. It's a half hour a day of just feeling like a loser. That's incredible. And you, you're in your book that's coming out later this year, Headstrong. Do you talk about that at all in there? Absolutely. In Headstrong, it turns out the, the number one thing you can do to make your brain work better and the rest of your body and to lose weight is to control how efficiently your brain makes power. So all of our cells have these ancient bacteria incorporated that are called mitochondria. And they're either the batteries or the power plants of your cells, depending on how you want to look at it. But it, it's like a new car works really well. When it's five years old, the engine leaks. It doesn't have as much horsepower. Our brains are the same way. Half of people under age 40 have leakage in their mitochondria. Everyone over age 40 has it. It's called aging. So what this book is about is how do you hack that system the same way you would upgrade a car to be higher performance? You can do it in the first place you feel it is in your head. That's, right, right. That is very interesting. Also, speaking of more energy, you claim that you figured out a way how to sleep less and get more out of your sleep and sleep more efficiently. Yeah. I mean, everyone can relate to that. What's your strategy over there? It, it kind of makes me mad when I hear people say, everyone needs to get more sleep. Like, no, everyone needs to get better sleep. Yep. When people go bulletproof, they increase their energy production. It's very common for people to say, I just need an hour less sleep. I just don't want to sleep anymore. And that's because at night, your brain cleans itself and it has to pump mm -hmm. cerebral spinal fluid in, wash the brain. It's called the glymphatic system, and then take all those toxins away. Well, that pump is driven by energy. You have more energy, you pump better. And what you do is you change your sleeping environment. This whole biohacking changes the environment around you. So I've written several like, like groundbreaking posts on sleep hacking that you've seen replicated everywhere by now. Things like sleep in a perfectly dark room. Uh, I originally discovered that because there were some studies from the late 90s that said just LED lights on your skin change dream quality. So what happens if you tape over all the LEDs and you actually get functional curtains so you sleep in absolute darkness? I'll tell you what happens, you sleep deeper and you get more sleep in less time. And the best study ever uh, that I, I found on sleep that I, I broke on the Bulletproof website showed that of 1.2 million people studied for years, the people who live the longest sleep six and a half hours a night. People who sleep eight hours a night die of all causes more than six and a half hours. It doesn't mean to sleep less. What it means is healthy people need less sleep. So if wow. you can do things that make your cells work better, you will gain that health. You also get the energy benefits and the cognitive benefits. And then you just naturally want less sleep. That's interesting because I've definitely noticed when I, when I do have an opportunity, which, isn't, which is quite rare to, to get a lot of sleep, I'll really crank it up and I'll try to get you know, like nine, 10 hours yeah. to kind of fill the sleep bank. But I'll wake up feeling more tired than, than I was. And it's almost like, why, why am I tired if I got more sleep than I usually do? There can be some, some sort of sleep hangovers. You may have a sleep deficit and you're just filling in for it. So it's normal to feel groggy after 10 hours of sleep. But, and there is evidence you, you can catch up on lost sleep. A lot of people say you can't, but you can. The thing is though, when you wake up, you should just feel full of energy. You shouldn't have to just crawl out of bed. Uh, you also don't need to jump out of bed at the first alarm. Uh, in fact, many people benefit from having a progressive alarm like I do, because you're actually in a really special dream state and a lot of your best ideas will come to you. But if your alarm goes off at you know, 10,000 decibels and you jump out of bed and run around, you're actually, stressing yourself out, you don't need to do that. So I take 10 minutes to wake up, but during that time, like I'm, I'm downloading messages from my subconscious so that I can be more effective in my day. Wow, now we were at CES this year and we saw a lot of interesting stuff. 
I, I notice you're not wearing any sorts of you know trackers or, or anything like that. Is there any sort of wearable tech that you that you enjoy wearing? You find that you benefit I, from? I was a, a co-founder of Basis, the wristband company that was yeah. sold to Intel for a hundred million dollars. So I uh, I spent. Let's see, I was I was actually CTO there. Come to think of it. And just, just the chief no, technology no, officer. Sure, what was my title? Yeah. I, I worked with a lot of tech startups, a, a, a cardio stick on monitor before that. And I've tried every fitness tracker out there. I was an early quantified self member. There's a group of people hacking the human body. And what I believe pretty firmly is track what you hack. And so I track things like there's, there's a right here. I had uh, six files of blood drawn this morning. I'm tracking that. <laughs> but you don't really get much data from the wearable stuff. It's, it's mostly to make you feel good about yourself, not really to give you that actual We've actually data. put down three mattresses around Dave on the floor just in case he <laughs> passes out in the course of this interview. <laughs> but uh, seriously, Bulletproof Coffee, you guys have obviously, you've got this, this legacy already. You've got a really core following and more and more people are finding out about you guys and, and feeling the benefits. What, what's next? What do you guys have coming up? I know you have some interesting products. Well, I've been working a lot on, on mitochondria. So understanding that there are very specific science back things you can do that just give you more energy. Like you ate the same amount of food, but you made better use of it. So you had less toxin formation, less inflammation, and better functioning, better performance. Fascinating. Dave Asprey, thanks for coming through. It's been a pleasure. <laughs>